It's another adventure with HiddenIncaTours.com. Unlike uh, previous videos, this one is not about lost ancient technology or megalithic sites. It's exploring the Yungas, which is the high jungle outside of La Paz in Bolivia. So right now we're driving out of La Paz, and there's a police check, and then we're up at the toll booth. So with the van we're climbing up to about 5,500 meters which is about 17,000 feet above sea level and we are actually up in the ice. There's the van and this is a little lake that is maybe a couple of degrees above freezing level but you can see also that we are far above the tree line. So, in order to be safe on our journey, we're giving a little gift of coca, coca leaves, and now you can see the road that we are about to go on. The stone in this area appears to be like a slate or shale, which is interesting, and we drove past several little waterfalls. This being the dry time of year, there's not too much water, and now we're starting our descent and the beginnings of vegetation and the beginnings of the jungle, again called the Yungas in the native Quechua language. And surprise, surprise, we're coming up to a tunnel. This was actually the only tunnel that we encountered on our journey and lots of people, for some reason, deciding to cycle downhill. Then as we're going through the tunnel, on the other side we will notice that the vegetation is actually becoming a little more jungle-like because our descent is actually quite rapid. Now it's off the highway and onto the dirt road which is literally called the Highway of Death or the Road of Death. There are in fact two of these. This is the slightly wider one but uh, Tragic accidents are actually quite common, and we were fortunate on this day in that we had no difficulties, proven by the fact that I'm talking to you right now. There are several new bridges that have been built by the President of Bolivia, Evo Morales. And again, we're continuing our descent, and the jungle life is becoming more intense. And here is the full high Yunga jungle of Bolivia. It's quite a narrow road as you can see. Uh, luckily it was not raining because if it was raining intensely it's uh, very common that sections of the road will become washed out. There's one little village that we pass through as you can see here and we decided to stop in order to get refreshments and also have a look at a little waterfall that would be incredibly powerful during the wet season but this is presently the dry season as we were there in October of 2017. But the river is flowing and does so 365 days of the year going all the way down into the Amazon Basin. Again, not too much water at this time of year. And now we see our destination, which is a castle in the high jungle of Bolivia. It was built about 100 years ago by the then president of the country and was later passed on or sold to our friend's family, Antonio Portugal. When we were visiting, major repairs were being done because the house is being converted from private ownership or family ownership to being a very luxurious and exclusive hotel. It will likely be another year or two before the repairs and other changes are done. And there on the right is Antonio Portugal himself, 
famous Bolivian author. That is his family shield upside down. And for fun, his brother Carlos decided to take us on a walk through the high jungle of Bolivia. The property itself is more than a thousand acres. And this jungle is very similar to what you see in places in Peru, such as Machu Picchu, which again is in the high jungle. We were very surprised that there was a suspension bridge, which of course we crossed over. It was made within the last year and is a replica of the ancient rope bridge style that the Inca civilization were quite famous for. And so across we go, unknowing what we're going to find on the other side. Well, lo and behold, another one of these suspension bridges. And with Antonio Portugal there in the foreground, he's pointing out the river as it stands now with little waterfalls. Very beautiful. We actually didn't encounter any insects such as biting mosquitoes, which was great, even as we moved deeper and deeper into this high jungle area. The approximate elevation here is about 6,000 feet above sea level. And as we traveled along the path some more, you can see that there's another suspension bridge that we have to cross over. This, I believe, was the longest one that we encountered. And that is our friend Tamara from the United States. And looking down, a native family are having a bath and lunch here somewhat in the middle of nowhere. And then the last of the suspension bridges that we traveled over. And as a final beautiful sight, another one of these waterfalls would be much more intense during the wet season. Thank you so much for watching this video. These are some upcoming tours for 2018. The Ancient Cultures of Mexico in January of 2018. We are covering many sites. Then in March, our annual Egypt trip looking at ancient lost technology. Very limited space available now. Then in June, we celebrate the Inti Raimi Inca Festival of the Sun in Cusco and beyond. In August, our annual Elongated Skulls Tour of Peru. Again, many different locations. And our Croatia-Bosnia adventure in October, including the Bosnian so-called pyramids.